My name is Emra Östunc and I'm working as a district heating specialist uh, in Kovi. In my daily work I am working with optimization of district heating networks and um, I am working with uh, something called thermographic uh, surveying of district heating networks. We know that uh, many existing district heating companies are suffering from big heat losses and also uh, big leakages. Uh, some of the biggest uh, issues are actually the leakages because uh, they don't know where these leakages are uh, to be found and where they are located. And through the aerial thermographic surveyings, we are able to uh, localize these and uh, point out where the problems in the network uh, actually are located. My name is Alex Huibrechtsen. I'm the ESA manager of the district heating in Rotterdam. We, we uh, have done the first thermal survey um, and it gives us a profound image of the thermal and exo leakages, uh, which, uh, which is very accurate. Um, by repairing the pipes um, in early stage, we were able to prevent unsch unscheduled failures. Um, and it seems that it actually expands the lifetime of the steel pipe due to the action we took. The biggest uh, benefits for the district heating uh, company is actually that they are reducing their energy losses. Uh, I mean, uh, the leakage uh, leakages in the network are actually one of the uh, biggest problems when uh, looking at the network state and also uh, energy losses due to the water loss and uh, losing of energy uh, throughout the network. But also uh, the pipes are getting uh, deteriorated faster and also the, the insulation uh, state of the pipes are also getting worsened because of the leakages. The problem is when the pipes are buried underground, it is impossible to actually locate those uh, leakages. Uh, we, we do leak um, measuring, but that seems not to be as accurate as the thermal scan. Well, we, we um, did some um, calculations and by repairing the pipes uh, earlier, we didn't have to um, renew the pipes, but only the isolation. Um, and the benefit was about five or ten times um, better than we had to um, renew the pipes. So when we are uh, looking for leakages, we are sending an airplane um, up in the sky and uh, then we are making a surveying of a district heating area where we can actually uh, see uh, the leak heat spots and the leakage spots uh, throughout the network. And this gives us the ability to actually make a network state uh, and uh, to, to inform the district heating company about where these leakages are located so uh, they can go out and uh, make these reparations. Well, I was very surprised that they had such an accurate um, position of the thermal leakages and, and therefore we had 100% score uh, everywhere we, we, we went in the ground, there was a thermal or an actual leak leakage. We start by collecting the data uh, from uh, from this heating network, and those are actually some drawings uh, of the pipe network and some basic information uh, about their supply and how much water they are uh, actually um, are putting into the system and how much water they are losing uh, to make an estimation ab uh, about of the uh, amount of uh, water they are losing. And uh, by this, uh, we have, we have an idea uh, about the sever severity of uh, how big the leakage is are and how big the problems are and then we can start uh, the project. Well, it, it needs to be done in, in a specific uh, cold, uh, cold uh, uh, period um, because it, it detects the, 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 the temperature difference between the ground and, and, and the pipes. Uh, we run about uh, between the 100 and 110 uh, degrees and, and, and the, the colder it is, um, the better the images uh, you get. Uh, the payback time for the project is quite uh, short because uh, when they uh, close the leakages and they achieve these energy savings, um, they are actually uh, saving a lot of money. And this is, uh, I would say, the most important uh, purpose of, these, uh, of this project um, that we, uh, we are working on. So um, 
is quite efficient uh, work and they are also quite satisfied with it because after our, we are finished with, um, with 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 the work we delivered uh, to to them directly so they can start uh, continue uh, their work uh, by themselves So it depends on if you have a good uh, measuring system or not. Uh, and even if you do have a good measuring system, you, it's not um, possible that you can measure every pipe you have in the ground. And the coverage of the uh, thermal scan um, was almost about 100% of our uh, network.